there's a local farm thing. Not a lot of uh, writers local. And I don't really know any of them. Uh, kid posted on, well, I say kid. Younger fella. <laughs> posted on there something like, uh, does anybody do moto vlogging? And, uh, came up because I get on that forum. I think it's, uh, is it Midmo Riders? Something like that. I'm not a real big forum person. Come on, go on to first. There we go. Um, uh, it's just, you know, one of the new posts since you were last there kind of thing. He said, uh, does anybody uh, do moto vlogging? Said it in an odd way. Is anyone a moto vlogger? Something like that. Any anyway, rate, a week or two old. Nobody had responded to it. Ooh, did you make it, little boy? He did. chunky. So I responded saying something like, my assumption is no, there aren't any. Based on the fact that nobody's responded. I thought about it. Somebody else I know said, well, don't you do that? I just heard the name uh, of the term vlogging a couple times. And there's just something about it I don't like. This is a term that I don't like, as opposed to anything else. And, uh, it's kind of like people who say cig uh, instead of cigarette. I just, uh, it really galls me. This is a personal thing. It doesn't mean anything. But, any rate, I hadn't really thought about it. A friend of mine asked me, uh, after a little back and forth, I went and looked at the guy's site, the kid's site. He, isn't, uh, he doesn't do moto vlogging, I guess. Uh, his site, uh, I mean, uh, on YouTube, his uh, account or whatever. And um, when I responded to him, he said, eh, I don't know. What the heck is that? But I figure I don't, not many people care what it is that I have to say, all that kind of jazz. And, uh, what am I doing here? What's going on? Everything okay? Something down there? A little off. At any rate, oh, so I said uh, I do take some videos. I do have a helmet cam. A friend of mine suggested. Sometimes I put them up. Here's where it is. Blah blah blah. I show the thing on YouTube. He subscribed to it. That's how I found his. I think he's a. Uh Inspiring, and uh, I also think he's a new writer. Um, I think, though I may not be right, he's younger. Uh, just got his writing license. At any rate, you know, more power, power to him. Go for it. So that got a conversation with a friend of mine uh, who's not really a writer. Um, wouldn't that what you do, kind of thing. I said, no, I don't really, I don't think so. Most of my videos were originally made for a friend of mine who got me back into writing. I'll take that. 
That's enough of a stop, wouldn't it? And um, initially, and then the other event is um, my particular camera I got is more fun for me. It's uh, there's somebody up there. Is that a beamer? Can't tell. It has uh, has this feature where you can basically turn it on, and until I hit that button there, it doesn't really record. But it's buffering. So my point is, you can record things that just happen, and that to me is fun. Feel free to pick on me for that. I wasn't paying attention. I should have been looking up there. Oh. Come on, come on. As long as possible. Trying not to put my feet down there. I just had to. Why is everybody here today? This is not normal traffic for us. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Anyway, so I said, uh, no, I do these videos largely for my friend, uh, a real good lifelong kind of friend, and he lives in uh, the West. And so I do more of this kind of stuff than I normally would because I sort of share with my friend because I don't get to visit with him that much. And we back and forth and all that, so. Anyway. But then, since it is publicly viewable, and that's an easy way to send files back and forth and whatnot, I sort of, I guess, make them for public consumption as well. So I'm aware other people might watch them. I just suspect it's my friends that care. Uh, my one friend in West, my one friend a little bit south of here, and then generally others. Um, but who would care what I have to say? <laughs> I do know a couple people who do that kind of stuff on a regular basis. I don't know them personally, but I, I have subscribed to them through YouTube. There's a guy in Hawaii who I think has quit doing it. Um, but he actually edits his videos and does a really good job of editing. Uh, regardless of whether you like the content or not, the editing is great. So, um, And I guess he put out a video and said, eh, i got to stop doing this. It's taking too much time. Uh, the editing takes forever. I could understand that. And if you've seen one of mine, or you see this one, you'll know uh, I don't really waste a whole lot of time with editing. I try to make it better, but I'm just not willing to give it a whole lot of time. And then there was this guy named uh, Svengali, or that was his uh, username, I guess, I don't know, whatever you call it. I'm not entirely comfortable with all this online networking stuff. but. Uh, Unfortunately, I believe he committed suicide, which is a real shame. He seemed to have a lot going for him, apparently. He had a lot of difficulties as well. At any rate, uh, so I know about the logging thing, and they basically get on there, they ride around, and they talk about whatever the hell they talk about. And like, Nobody listens to me at work or in my personal life anyways. Why would you listen to me if you didn't know me? <laughs> Trust me, my job is to talk all day long and advise people about what to do. You are stopping, right? Thank you. There's something about the speed they were pulling up there. I didn't was entirely confident that they were going to stop. Anyway. So, and I, I kind of post some reviews, and recently I put up some things about putting some stuff on this bike, these risers and stuff, mainly because um, people do put those things up and I look at them for reference and so quite often I feel confident I know what's going to happen before it happens. I'm generally mechanically inclined pretty well, but I don't know BMWs or other things. But there's no reason not to look, you know. It's so much easier than it used to be with people posting that stuff. So, yet again, as a friend of mine said, uh, you know, you got to make some of those videos. Maybe somebody will find your video if they didn't find somebody else's, even if somebody has done it before. 
drink it. Now everybody knows, it might be helpful, it might be laughable. I think you're mostly laughable, but... So, there's no point in recording this other than I'm going up for lunch. And uh, I recorded this because of the kid's post. And I'm sure he'll have uh, some posts and logs and whatever it is that they do. So this is the first one I can think of. There's absolutely no point in me recording um, other than to share it publicly with people. And uh, you tell me if you think I'm a Moto Vlogger. Uh, you don't really have to tell me if you think I'm an a-hole or something because I kind of know I'm slightly annoying. Uh, on the term I normally use, but I didn't want to say the wrong version. Do try to keep things G-rated. But, um, I don't know. I thought I might um, make a little video to help people on learning how to ride. Uh, but again, that's not really the e-logging thing. I'm helping somebody learn how to ride. And in the process of helping them learn how to get comfortable and ride and all that. Oh shit, there's the text. I'm learning things I hadn't thought of. Whoa! Neutral! Nice place to be! <laughs> yeah, I know. I just said something about helping somebody learn how to ride, right? <laughs> Here I am stuck in a median. I'm missing a turn. And yes, I leave huge gaps. I do that in the car. I'm not impatient by any means. All right, talk to you later. Bye.